I've put together a few tips for increasing the flexibility of the physical body based on my own experiments with yoga practice, specifically the Hatha Yoga Asanas. I've been practicing and teaching Hatha Yoga for over 10 years and I've learned through experimentation and observing my students a method that has worked to help increase my physical flexibility as well as for others. These tips have helped me in my own practice of yoga and I sincerely believe they can be the key to unlocking your own latent energies and capacities as well. Students with little to no history of regular exercise that enter into Hatha Yoga classes oftentimes achieve only a minimal increase in flexibility after six months of steady practice. Without an extended history of physical activity that includes flexibility training as a core component, for example, gymnastics, dance, or martial arts, these students may achieve the results they desire. However, it takes them a very long time, oftentimes years of steady practice to reach their goal. If your desire is to radically improve your flexibility to accommodate the asanas performed in Hatha Yoga practice, and you're serious about getting results fast, and it would benefit you to one, modify one's diet to consume at the very least 85% of foods derived from plant-based sources. A 100% plant-based diet will achieve and bring quicker results. Two, incorporate fasting from solid food for 24 hours, one day out of the week, for as long as necessary to achieve your intended goal. Three, add some form of body work into your health regime from a professional like massage, Reiki, or acupuncture, which will help increase your muscle recovery and assist the removal of toxins that arise both physical and emotional from exercise. Realistically, if it's taken, let's say, 20 years of living to develop a body which reflects an inflexible state, then I assure you it will require a deep shift in approach to undo the sheer history that now stands between you and your desire for change. Whatever you choose to do, just be honest with yourself and think whatever lifestyle choices you've been making, they're no longer serving your best interests. The physical body is the expression of all our life experiences. When our experiences are pleasant, our bodies reflect outwardly an image of ease and comfort. Likewise, when our experiences are unpleasant and painful, our bodies get tense and tend to display outwardly a sense of pain or discomfort. Most people associate physical tension with lack of exercise or inactivity. However, in my experience, physical tension secondary to lifestyle comprises about half of an individual's experience of tension. In general, people who live healthy, active lifestyles relatively free of unnecessary suffering tend to live longer and experience less illness as well as less physical tension. On the other hand, people who lead sedentary lifestyles and have a long history of repeated suffering tend to experience more tension and tend to be at a greater risk for all types of disease. So what makes up the other half? The answer to that would be trauma. Yes, trauma is a huge source of almost all the tension in the body. By trauma, I mean any experience in the lifespan starting at birth and moving forward to the present that caused you pain or suffering of any kind. I like to organize the experience of trauma into two categories. One, external traumas, which includes the full spectrum of injuries sustained from physical, emotional, psychological abuse, catastrophe, death of loved ones, accidents, etc. Two, self-imposed traumas, which include the full spectrum of drug use, compulsory behaviors like overeating, hoarding, overworking, etc. in which an individual adopts negative or self-defeating behaviors to avoid dealing directly with painful memories or feelings regarding historical traumas. Back to how flexibility though is impacted by this trauma. Essentially whenever you experience a trauma whether physical, emotional or psychological, our bodies respond by tensing up, our heart rates tend to increase to a rapid rate and our breathing becomes shallow and rapid. Our physiology reacts by shifting into the fight or flight response by producing large amounts of stress hormone or epinephrine and cortisol and as a result our brain activity shifts into the lower regions. 
so to solutions to help fix the problem of our physical inflexibility. So number one, consume plant-based foods in place of animal and dairy products. By animal-based products, I'm referring to all meat, cheese, cow, milk, eggs, etc. The reason being eating animal products raises the body pH to highly acidic levels. In an acidic state, the body tends to secrete large amounts of lactic acid during and after exercise. This acid, accumulated heavily in the muscles and joints, is a major source of unnecessary tension and stiffness throughout the body. Over time, the excess lactic acid that fails to get excreted crystallizes within the body as well as the joints, leading to more serious conditions, including the full spectrum of arthritic symptomology. People who attend yoga classes who maintain a diet heavy in animal products are engaging in a vicious and self-defeating cycle. The cycle starts each time the student attends class as the asana serves to help the body get rid of the excess lactic acid via the skin through sweating and as waste via the urine. In response to the asana exercises, the body begins to establish a healthy pH balance and the cycle comes full circle if the practitioner chooses to ingest more meat and dairy as the whole cycle begins anew upon the next workout or yoga class. This is a tough pill for people who love the taste of steak burgers and barbecue. However, in my experience, the number one thing that minimizes my flexibility level is eating meat and cheese. I can't speak for everyone in all cases because I've met a few athletes that eat meat who are incredibly flexible. However, I discovered the main reason they maintain that flexibility while eating meat was that they began working on flexibility at a very early age and maintained their training consistently throughout their lifespan. Specifically, I'm referring to gymnasts and ballet dancers who rehearse up to six days a week sometimes four to five hours a day and in the case of ballet dancers many of them barely ate much food at all you may think this is an unfair solution because you're attached to eating animal products however try going without it for one day and do a few basic stretches in the late afternoon i promise you will notice a dramatic difference in your flexibility level compared to days when you eat meat and dairy Go one week without meat and dairy and it will blow your mind how fast your body loosens up and lengthens. Commit to a steady plant-based diet and within three months your entire body will undergo a complete change. The muscles become softer, the joints become less stiff and it becomes easier to maintain and hold stretches with minimal effort. The only downside to the plant-based lifestyle for myself is it becomes harder to maintain muscular gains or acquire bulk muscle mass. Once you achieve your flexibility goals, you may choose to re-engage in eating animal products. However, don't be surprised if you find you no longer have the desire to do so. Alright, number two, fasting. Fasting speaks for itself on so many levels. Since biblical times, we have evidence of people who have fasted to overcome physical, emotional, and even spiritual obstacles. My theory on fasting is that so much of our body's energy resources are compromised in an effort to digest the foods we eat. When we disengage from the act of consuming solid foods, the body is freed up in a dramatic way to detoxify and heal. In actuality, the human body is a self-sustaining, detoxifying, and healing organism. If you feed it the right amount of proper nutrition, as well as give it the proper rest and exercise, it has the potential to heal itself of all illness when maintained. However, when we perpetuate the act of eating three meals a day, 365 days out of the year, many of us, in very unhealthy ways, our bodies tend to revolt by manifesting illness and disease all in an effort to get you to stop doing whatever it is you are doing. 
I view disease as a communication from the body to the individual that things are way out of balance. Fasting is the best way to rid the body of crystallized acidic matter lodged in the joints. An excellent resource that describes how fasting rids the body of crystalline toxic deposits. The miracle of fasting, proven throughout history for physical, mental, and spiritual rejuvenation by Paul Bragg, is a must-read for those seeking to cleanse and detoxify their body and to gain spiritual energy. Number 3. Bodywork to help decrease stiffness and tension. Massage is generally considered part of complementary and alternative medicine. It's increasingly being offered along with standard treatment for a wide range of medical conditions and situations. Studies of the benefits of massage demonstrate that it is an effective treatment for reducing stress, pain and muscle tension. Beyond the benefits for specific conditions or diseases, some people enjoy massage because it often involves caring, comfort, a sense of empowerment and creating deep connections with their massage therapist. I hope the information found here is helpful to you in your attempts at improving your flexibility level. Always remember that the body and mind are intimately connected with one another, and that in general, physical tension and illness have roots both in consciousness as well as from external causes.